the hardest R&D meetings are the meeting after you launch the best product you've ever launched. So we're gonna make you hit TSR first. TSR was our most successful driver ever. Having played TSR close to two years, I was skeptical that they were gonna make it better. So that was your TSR. Let's show you GT. When you wanna create something that can truly rise above, the challenge never ends. Each generation has to be faster, longer, straighter. Woo. Gotta have better looks, sound, and feel. Gotta have all of them. With GT, we've had a breakthrough. Oh my word, that was nice. How do you do that? In order to get faster from TSR, we had to save some weight. And the only way to do that was to break out of an all titanium construction. And so one of the first things we really had to tackle was the crown design. This is the titanium part of the body. And then this crown piece is something that's absolutely unique to the industry. Is that actually how light it is? Oh so it's goodness. about 12 grams. It's a third of the mass of titanium. The challenge was that we needed to find a material that not only saved weight, but also provided really good acoustics. Ultimately, we developed this proprietary matrix polymer to create a seamless thermoform crown. This advanced material really closely mimics an all-titanium product. I just want you guys to go ahead and drop it on the countertop. It's more metallic than I would have expected. It's really strong, it's really light, and most importantly, it sounds like metal, even though it's not. George, what would you expect it to sound like? Just like as you look at those components, yeah. like, what would you expect it to sound like? Make, make the noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This new material in the thermoform crown allowed us to create a split mass construction. So you can have a CG a little more forward to help on center performance, but still have mass toward the back of the club to maintain stability. And so you get optimal spin and launch, more distance and straighter ball flight. Pretty good miss there. Slightly healed, but that did not spin like it was slightly healed. The second it comes off the face, you're like, oh man. Everything in GT is amplified by Speedring VFT. Speedring allows us to constrain the perimeter of the face, maximizing your ball speed on center. The VFT pattern allows us to discreetly thin the face, expanding that sweet spot. Ultimately, that unlocks maximum ball speed on center and consistently high ball speed off center. It's funny because it's like obviously all the tech that goes into it, but I was like, man, this thing looks like classic to me. The way that the multi-material construction comes together has a certain elegance about it. There's no seam between the different parts of the head. It's got the same look, the same feel, and then somehow performs better. As soon as someone hits it, they're gonna realize this is the biggest leap forward Titleist has ever taken in driver design. Faster, longer, straighter. All in a seamless package that looks, sounds, and feels like a Titleist should. They're the best drivers we've ever made.